and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, we'll be discussing scheduling conflicts and the many tools available through Construction Suite to help prevent and manage these conflicts. When you're working with multiple projects at once, it's very easy to lose track of which days you've already assigned certain teams to work, and even if you go back through the schedules to check, it's very easy to overlook tasks. Because of this, Construction Suite has many safeguards that allow you to assign resources without the fear of overbooking. When you're working in a schedule, you can turn what we call our resource conflict prompts on by navigating to the Options menu on the File toolbar. Here, make sure that the Show Resource Conflict Prompts box is checked. This will enable the automatic notifications of resource conflicts when you're assigning contacts. To add a resource, we can simply click on the cell in the resource column for each task. If you don't have the resources column showing, remember you can always right click on any of your column headers to show some additional columns. These columns can be included in either the task list as shown on the left or in the Gantt chart as shown on the right. We're going to go ahead and show our resources column over here and also add these to the Gantt chart. When you choose to add a new resource, in this case we're going to try to assign Miller Lumber Supply for concrete slab labor as well as the materials, we'll do so by clicking into this cell and choosing Add New on our Resources tab. If we scroll down to Miller Lumber Supply and click on this contact, you'll now see that the currently scheduled tasks for the resource on a certain day are shown in the pane on the right-hand side of your resource window. If the task is a multi-day task, you can switch to the details for another day by clicking on the date in the mini calendar in the bottom right. The calendar will also designate days that the resource has already been scheduled for in red, as shown here. In this case, we see that Miller Lumber is already scheduled on the 15th, but we're going to assign them anyways. So if you choose to assign Miller Lumber, you will not only see that they have no certificates, which is another feature of Construction Suite that we have covered in our insurance and certificate tracking videos, but we will also see that they are already scheduled for this time frame, and will be prompted to continue. We'll have to verify that we would like to indeed assign Miller Lumber Supply to this task, so I'll go ahead and select OK. We can now save Miller Lumber Supply and see them show up on our task list and Gantt chart in our schedule. You may also notice that the scheduling conflicts are highlighted in the schedule here in red with the exclamation icon both in the task list and on the Gantt chart, so you have further opportunity to spot these resource conflicts. Now once you've assigned a resource to multiple tasks, you may want to view all of your conflicts at once. And there are two ways to do this. So the first is to filter the schedule to only show conflicts. This can be done on the View tab by selecting the Resource Conflicts button. As you can see, this has filtered out our schedule to only show those tasks that have resource conflicts regardless of the resource. Now you can further filter by a specific resource by coming up to the View toolbar again, choosing the Filter by Resource dropdown, and then choosing a specific contact. Now as you can see, this will further filter to only show the resource conflicts for that particular resource in case you're interested in only particular contacts being assigned. Now to clear these filters and revert back to the full schedule, you can just click on the Resource Conflicts button again, or in the drop down for Filter by Resource, select the Clear Filter option. Now there's also a way to view all of your conflict reports for a specific contact throughout all projects instead of just the one you're currently on. Now this can be done using the Scheduling Conflict Report and the Reports toolbar. When we choose to generate this report, as you can see, there are two options. We can either filter by project or by contact. Filtering by project is essentially going to give us a report of all of those resource conflicts that we just saw using our filters in the view menu. But filtering by contact is going to allow us to choose a specific contact, such as Miller Lumber Supply, and view all of their resource conflicts throughout all schedules that we have within Construction Suite. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a filter by contact and select Miller Lumber Supply and generate this report. This will now generate a scheduling conflict report for Miller Lumber Supply throughout all projects present within Construction Suite. It will show you the specific tasks that are conflicting and the date ranges that they are conflicting on. And this will go again throughout all projects. You can see Lot 187, Watley Residence, Lot 191, 93. It's comprehensive throughout the entire system. As you can see, Construction Suite contains many features for both automatic and deliberate notification of resource conflicts. Using these features, you'll never have to worry about overbooking or unexpected delays from scheduling oversights ever again. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.